Hi, and welcome back to my channel, A Bookish Heart with Shona. Um, I'm sorry for the lighting in this video. Um, I'm try I was trying to use natural light for the video, but it's dark and gloomy day here, so not much natural light. So, I have some lamps on, but yeah. And I also wanted to say... Sorry for not posting many videos. I haven't been very active through the months of November and December. I've had a lot of personal problems, a lot of things going on in my life. So, I haven't been able to come on as much, but I have a plan for the new year. I will be posting a lot more content on my channel on a regular basis, a lot of different kinds of videos, and yeah. Today is New Year's Eve, so... 2020 is going to be good. So happy New Year's to everyone. And I December was a good reading month for me. I met my goal on Goodreads, so I read 31 out of 30 books, so I'm one ahead. And I'm halfway through a book right now, which I don't know, I'm not going to fin probably finish it today, so all my books read this year will be 31, which is not too bad. And I hope everyone had a great year. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a unboxing. I know it's late. I literally just got this December Owl Crate box. It was stuck at the post office. And I had to wait until I could get down there to pick it up. And then, yeah, so I just got it. So I'll be unboxing that. And I also wanted to show some books I got. I got some gift cards for Christmas and... So I bought myself some books, so I want to do like a mini book haul video, so yeah, I'll get right into it. Okay, so yeah. So let's do the Owl Crate first. Um, this is the box, this is the card, the theme is Tales of Trickery. That card's kind of interesting, so I'm not going to look at it yet because I don't want any spoilers. So every, all of you have probably already seen or gotten this box if you're a subscriber, so I'm sorry this video is late, but I figured um, it, for people who haven't don't get the box and just like seeing what's in it, it's better late than never. This is the pin. It's like a, a castle. It's nice. It's a nice pin. What is this? It's nice. Something with like flowers on it. Oh, it's, I thought it was like a little purse or something. It's earmuffs. They do not fit me. They look like they're like kid size. Like they don't really, co oh, I get it. Ha, huh. I was like, they don't cover my head. Oh, I get it. Sorry, I'm old school. I'm used to wearing headbands like that. I guess they go like this. Keep your ears warm. Well, that's pretty cool. They're really soft inside. That's really neat. I definitely don't have anything like that. This is a candle. I love candles. It says Mount Ruin. I don't know what that's from. It says fire plus cinnamon chai. Let's see what it smells like. Interesting. Yeah, it just smells like cinnamon to me, but it's interesting. It's always good to have more candles. What is this? Something in a box. Sky in the Deep Hand Warmer. It's right on the back. Oh, there's a couple pieces. So, there's like this little bag and then this thing. Breathe Fire. Oh, so I guess you like, um, place the metal piece between the forefinger and the thumb. Press until it clicks and begins crystallizing. In the crystallization, squeeze the heat pad to make it soft. Oh, cool. And then you put it in boiling water to recharge it. Oh, cool. It's like a... That's pretty neat. A mini heat pad just to warm up your hands or something. Definitely cool. This looks like pencil crayons. Exclusive bookish colored pencils. They're, they're already sharpened. That's pretty good. I guess I can use them like in my in my planner, my reading planner 
and my regular planner that I'm going to be doing from 2020. What is this? Like a fabric item. Oh, it's a book sleeve. I've been wanting one of these. I see others have book sleeves from past boxes, and I don't have any book sleeves. So I've been wanting this. I didn't even look at it yet, and I'm excited. It says, It was always wise to be polite to books, whether or not they could hear you. I love that. I don't even know what quote that's from, but I literally love it. That's so nice. Okay, next thing. Exclusive coloring book. Oh, cool. This coloring book belongs to, it says wolves were everywhere. Official Phoenix Rider Club. There's this. I remember, oh, it's like all the pins, I think, or like one thing from, yeah, one from each of the books for this year. We Hunt the Flame. Child, yeah, it's like one book from, I guess there's like one book from each year. Two, and then in the back it shows this month, this year's pin collection. That's kind of cool, so you can like color them all. I always like coloring books. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's see what the book is. The, I've heard of this, the Guinevere Deception. I've heard of Kristen White. Um, I actually read the first one of the, I think it was by her, And I Darken trilogy. Or, I, that's the, that was the name of the first book. But, um, yeah, I've actually read, I haven't read the second or third one yet, but I did read And I Darken. I'm hoping this is not a sequel, since I haven't read the others. I'm hoping this is more of like a standalone. The cover is very nice. Uh, Guinevere Deception. I'm just going to see. The back is nice. Is it a standalone? The first book in the Camelot Rising trilogy. So I guess this is a new... Trilogy by her. Sorry about the lighting, but this is hard to, to see it. Oh, underneath the book jacket, there's like a green sword. That's pretty nice. And as usual, it's signed. That uh, definitely looks interesting to have a new book to read. Yeah, and that's it for this box. And then the booklet that they always give. Looks like, um interview with the author and some daily challenges which I always write in my planner if I remember to do them and then this the theme for next oh I love the look of this card it's beautiful the theme for next month says vengeance will be mine every January box will include the next mug in our series oh that's like those Harry Potter mugs definitely excited about that but unfortunately I skipped the January box. I'm short on money after Christmas, as many people probably are, and I had to cut back on some of my subscription boxes, so I decided I'm going to get Owl Crate every second month instead of every month. So I got the December one, and my next one will be February. And I love Owl Crate, but the only reason I did that is because... Um, Basically, like I said, to save money, and also, I'm not a fast reader. I mean, I used to be a fast reader. I used to easily read 60, 50 to 60 books a year. I used to do a 50 book a year challenge, but now I just have a busier lifestyle, and since I had my three kids and I have, I'm working, I don't have as much time to read, and then I'm, so I'm also in a book club at my library, which we're meeting this Thursday to discuss A Man Called Ove, which I've already read before and loved. So I will be doing a book review and mini update um, after that to let everyone know what about that book but and what my book club's thoughts were. But yeah, um, I really hope people watch this video. I know I haven't been getting many comments, but I'm really hoping that some of you are watching my content, and it will get better in the new year. But yeah, so I figured between the books I have to read for the library book club and the 
books um, I'm getting from Owl Crate, which I haven't even read some of 2019's Owl Crate books yet. My goal going into 2020 is not to buy any new books, which is why I bought some now for after Christmas present, but I want to make my way through my TBR list, like through all the books that I already own. I want to start reading those ones. So I don't need to get too many more books, so I figured getting Six books a year from Owl Crate instead of 12 would help with that. Oh, and this is like the, the letter from the author. And that's it for that box. So I'll put that aside. And next I want to show you what books I got a gift card and what I ordered myself. They got kind of wet. The parcel guy left them on my step even though it was covered in snow. So the cardboard box got wet. This I've heard good things about. Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I heard some, actually, it wasn't on YouTube that I heard about it. It was on a Facebook group. Um, I ordered The Sandman by Neil Gaiman last month after I got a gift, another gift card from my work Christmas party. I got it, and I heard good things about The Sandman, so I chose that one. I got it. I flipped through it. I haven't read it yet, but it looks a lot darker than what I expected, so um, I was posting that I was disappointed in the darkness of it, and sorry about the interruption, someone was at my door, um, so I'm back, so on Facebook when I was basically, not really complaining, but commenting how the Sandman was very dark, so I wasn't sure if I would like it. Some people had suggested that this book might be better suited for me and might be right up my alley. So I ordered it and we'll see if I like it. Then I got this one, a nonfiction book that I've heard great things about. I love nonfiction. I haven't read much of it. Actually, this year I think I didn't read any nonfiction in 2019 as far as I remember, which is unfortunate. I'd have to go back and check on my Goodreads, but I want to start reading more nonfiction. And not just memoirs, but actual non-fiction. So this is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. It's a very thick book, but I've heard it's very good. So we'll check that out. This one, I first heard about by Samantha from Thoughts on Tomes. So thank you for that. And I've heard a lot of people talking about it. I know with the newest book, I think, just came out. But this is the first one by Neil Shusterman. It's called Scythe and I'm hoping I'll like it. Then this book I already read. I found it at my library. This is also by Neil Gaiman. It's not really a graphic novel. I would say it's more of like an illustrated novel. It's a beautiful look at the cover. The Sleeper and the Spindle. It is a twisted fairy tale. I would say like a retelling of Rapunzel meets Sleeping Beauty this girl and she pricks her finger she gets put to sleep she lives in a tower and people have to try to go there and the, instead of a prince that saves her it's a female heroine it's very well written but the pictures are incredible I read it at my library it's very quick read so I decided I wanted to buy it for myself it was a very interesting, different take on a fairy tale. The details in the pictures are great. It's illustrated by Chris Riddle. So you should all definitely check this out. Then my next book in the book haul, this one. I didn't even know. I guess I won this on, Go on Goodreads because I don't know where it came from. It showed up in my mailbox. And I usually get a notification if I win something, which I've only won once before. But I think this is where that came from. It's a parenting book, Simple, Happy Parenting, The Secret of Less for Calmer Parents and Happier Kids. It has, like, photos and, yeah, so I won that. So I'm going to check that out and see. There's, like, the author. The book I'm reading right now, which I don't have here, it's actually upstairs right now, but I'm reading A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. I think I forget who it's by. It's actually really good. I'm almost halfway done it. It's a, like, reminds me of Firefly crossed with, like, Star Trek. 
And yeah, I'll be definitely doing a review of that when I'm done. And I guess that's it for now. So this is my book haul for the month and my Owl Crate unboxing and my Happy New Year's message to all of you. And here's all my books. They'll all be mentioned in the comments. And yeah, see you all in 2020. Please check back to my channel. I know I haven't been the greatest with posting regularly, but thank you for watching my videos and take care. And Happy New Year's.